ladies and gentlemen. I am back with another episode. Hello, my name is TNT, and I am back in a Let's Play world. Uh, it's called the Mind Fighter server, and I have taken like two weeks of a break. I'm so sorry about that, guys. But we are finally back. Uh, you guys can tell that this is not my base, and I'll explain where we are and what's going on in just a minute, but let's get into today's episode. Now, so much has changed over the past two weeks. It's been crazy. Um, I got sick. That's why I haven't posted for such a long time. Um, at first, I don't remember why I didn't post for the first week, but the second week, I've just been sick with a sore throat, and I couldn't record. But anyway, we are here at Beeston's old base, and why would we be at Beeston's old base, you ask? That is because if we head out in this direction, he lives in an ocean bi next to an ocean biome, and you'll see this structure right here. That is right. I was not just laying in bed that whole two weeks or whatever. I worked on a third creeper farm. <laughs> As you guys know, we made a creeper farm in like the first episode and it sucked. It absolutely sucked. We got no drops basically and the little drops that we did get was just string. So then I was like, okay, this sucks. Let's destroy it. Let's blow it up with TNT. So we did. Ooh, die kick. Hey. Um, we blew it up with TNT and we made a new one out of it and that one sucked too we got like very very few drops from that one so now today i have made yet another and if you look in here we have eight bones yes that is correct bones first of all i put these here on my own really this here farm sucks too and i've gotten like about 32 drops in about like an hour which actually is not bad, but all of a sudden it just stopped working. All of a sudden. So we'll, so we'll see what happens with this thing, but I should just point that out really fast. Uh, it's the same design as that first, uh, the second one that we built, except the caves are all lit up around this, and also it's in an ocean biome, which is the best biome for any uh, farms whatsoever. Uh, so... I'm going to talk to Beeston about it, because it is kind of his project too, in a way, but I did like kind of all the work. And it's funny that Dykick says, any base plans, because that is actually what we're doing in this episode. But still, before we get on to that, there is another thing that's like really, really, really big that I do have to mention kind of immediately, because we use it almost every day we play Minecraft in the server. Dykick's shop is no longer die kick shop that is right it is this guy i don't know how to pronounce his name and i feel really bad about it but that's his head i'll leave a link in the description to his video but he has taken over the shop basically he die kick did not want it anymore for an unknown reason and i was the manager of the tower for like a small amount of time but then die kick was like nah i'm not gonna give it to you anymore and I mean, like, that's okay. I didn't really want it terribly anyways. Um, but uh, I was actually making it into a hotel. And Dykeek was going to pay me to make every single room a different theme and, like, decorate it. But that didn't end up working out. Uh, he was going to pay me three stacks of diamonds, though, guys. That's insane amount. The thing is, though, he did feel really, really bad. So if we look into this ender chest... Look at all these diamonds. He get, In the end, he already gave us three stacks because he felt bad. So we are swimming in diamonds, ladies and ladies and gentlemen. So I'm, I am can't believe it. It's crazy. I know that this is like a lot all of a sudden to jump into, but that's what's been going on right now. And as of the present moment, this guy owns the tower and he made it into his own shop. So that's that's quite interesting. It's not even like close to as many items as Dykeek had, but that's okay. Oh, also this is worth mentioning. Uh, yeah, um, all these beacons. Basically, Dykeek shop was selling beacons. I got a lot of coupons, and also like there was a mistake with the pricing, and Dykeek let me like buy take one that like I spent like very little on. So yeah, that's why we have so many now. But anyway, we finally have a full set of beacons which is awesome i think that this is a good time to mention that our enderman farm that we worked very very hard at 
uh, if you guys remember correctly, we uh, made it and it stopped working. I know it did not, wait, uh, we built it, but it took a very long time because we had to catch an endermite. Whoa, I'm getting a lot of gunpowder now. Like, it usually takes forever to get gunpowder. Anyway, uh, but uh, it, it, it somehow our endermite died and now it's not working. So we're going to have to fix that sometime soon. I don't know if that will be today, though. And after, like, an hour of die kick lighting up every single cave, basically, we had, like, two and a half stacks of gunpowder in this, like, from, I'd say, like, 20 minutes of 10 minutes of just, like, sitting around doing nothing um, after he lit up everything. And I made it all into TNT and gave it to die kick because he helped us a lot. And he has to, like, blow up his base, basically, to make it look nice or something because it's like a big hole um anyway it's not really showing any right now which is sad but we we did get like a stack of fireworks and also like plus four so that's awesome i'm also going to make this into just power one i'm i sell pow um power one but i use power three because i cannot stand power one after i got used to power three so <laughs> yeah but anyway, it took a lot of sand to make that creeper farm because I used sand uh, to drain out uh, the um, the uh, water for the creeper farm. Uh, so I used all the sand in that shulker, so shulker box. So we're just gathering more so that we can get started on our base finally, guys. I'm really nervous, but really, really excited. And now that we have all of this, I think we're ready to go, guys. I'm so excited. But first, we got we got to clean up all of this. I am sad to say, but I think the first thing that has to go is our good old snowman. He helped us through a lot, and I mean a lot. But I think it's time to go. I'm sorry, Mr. Snowman. I feel so bad. Uh, oh, that hurt. I feel bad. Oh. Okay, well, nothing I can do anymore. To be fair, he was like the fifth one to be in here, uh, but yeah, we've had him for the longest and he's the one that helped us out the most, so. Anyway, it's time to take down all of this stuff. No, this was the first ever thing I built on this server was this tiny little thing from wood that Daikit gave me to help get started. Uh, good time. Now, if you guys do not remember, this is what we are going for, and it's going to continue to keep on going downwards uh, and slightly bigger until we hit a point where we're good on the size, and also until we get, like, let's say down to here-ish, and then we're going to, like, split out everywhere. Should be really cool. Don't really know how it's going to turn out, though. Slight slightly nervous. I don't know. Like, I really, really like this, but... Something about it, it's a little bit weird. So I'm going to talk to like the people on the server, see what they think about it, because they're usually good at giving me good feedback. Now, here's my crisis, guys. Now I'm sort of thinking for this sort of look, where, like, okay, actually, one second. Like I was saying, this kind of look, where, like, we have this big structure right here, and maybe we could even close it up. And let me shush my dogs really fast. Now, how does this look? Oh, it's... A little bit weird and a little bit bare in the middle but that's because that door has to open up I don't know what to think about and this inside is just like that but hmm I like I like these a lot I don't know about the roof Ooh. um give me one minute though now as you guys can probably tell this is super smooth look at how smooth everything is going that is because I finally got a gaming computer all set up and ready to use. And you guys will also notice that we're not in the world anymore. I don't really know where I left off because this is a few days later because I took a lot of time and started working on this computer, getting it set up so that we could use it today. And it is so, so nice to have. So no more of that super duper slow FPS or anything like that. We have a nice, good new computer. Anyway, you will notice that we are in uh, the world that's just like the server, and we are designing our base. Now, if you guys missed, I did a live stream on Twitch. I highly doubt any of you guys to go 
follow me on Twitch because I'm a YouTuber on YouTube. Uh, but I did do a live stream on there, and I do suggest if you guys want to watch my live streams going and uh, and following me on Twitch, because uh, that's probably where I'll do most of my live streams. Uh, but anyway, I designed like this tower sort of thing for our base, and I really did not like it. So I actually got working on a UFO. So this is above where our base is by like, what, what level are we at exactly? We are at level 151. Oh, I should have been 150. Oh well. Anyway, um, and you guys will notice this big part of a circle going, well, a quarter of the way. And we are going to basically, this is going to be the diameter. Our, uh, our diameter is like 101 blocks or something for the UFO. And I think that this is probably what I'm going to be going for. But I'm just going to kind of design a little bit. I'm not expecting this video to be too long, uh, but it's just super nice to finally have this really good computer, and hopefully I can make more constant, better quality videos using it. So this should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue on making this circle. don't really know any commands that will do it for me, so looks like we're going to be doing the hard work. There we go, now I have half of the circle done, and now we just have to do the other half. Well, it was super hard, but I did it. A nice complete circle that's going to be used as a UFO. So if we take a look, it's pretty high, it casts a really big shadow. I'm actually going to exit out of the world really fast and come back in. Uh, cause sometimes the light gets a little bit messed up. I don't know if that's actually how it was, but I feel like it'd be much darker. Eh, I mean like, yeah, kind of. A little bit here though, seems a little bit on, like it looks a little bit light. Let's see if it's actually light though. Um, hmm, it is actually light, which is a little bit weird. But, hmm. Don't really know what to say about that. And there's also like a diamond there. But, besides like this little light quirks, uh, it looks really, really good. So, that's cool. I really like this music by the way, I'm digging it, yeah. Uh, so, right now we have to bring up the walls and everything. But before, I don't have much time, sadly again, life has been very, very busy. So I can't record much, but I do want to try to do something really fast. And how loud is that music? Okay, it's at 50 sounded very very loud um but if we go right over here i want to go to the very very center now a few you of you might be able to tell what i am making but if you don't if you do not know then it is basically a nice half sphere and sadly i don't have much time guys i know i'm always saying this but my life is super duper busy and i am afraid i cannot do much more uh, but we will still be working on this and then we'll also go and put it into the real world. Um, sorry, you guys see that my screen is paused. I was just checking if uh, on doing another, how the next circle would look. Basically, it looks really simple. It's just like this. One, two, three, four, I think, right? Yeah, four and then two. I gotta remember that. So one, two, three, four. One, two so on and so forth and then I'm also going to switch colors I think that will make it look really really good but sadly that's all I have time for guys uh, I'm hope that you guys really enjoyed this episode I'm hope that you guys enjoy this really nice and smooth uh, almost 60 or 60 FPS really really nice to have uh, but hopefully I'll see you guys in my next episode. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please, if you like this video. It really, really helps me out and makes this into a full-time job. And if I am able to, you know, make this into a real job, then I'll be able to post much more. And I'll also be able to post much longer and better, like, content videos. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and good bye.